Hi, my name is Manuele, and today I'm going to explain to you, in a really easy way, the experiment of Miller and why it is important. Miller's experiment is the first practical demonstration of how organic molecules formed on the Earth, starting from simpler inorganic molecules. It was needed to explain the chemical evolution theory of operating, which tells that in the conditions of primordial Earth, from the gases present in the atmosphere, and thanks to the energy that activated the chemical reactions, big quantities of organic molecules could have been formed, and later would have been gathered in the oceans. The experiment could have been compared to the creation of a cake, where the ingredients were a big amount of hydrogen, ammonia, Amazing! And what a paper! Having said that, all the ingredients should have been put into spheres or ampoules. In the first one, there was water boiling, which simulated the primitive oceans. Just then, the water vapor generated from the first ampoule passed through the tubes that condensed it in the second ampoule, where it was mixed up with the gases present in the atmosphere. When the cake was ready for the oven, the only thing left was putting it in, or rather, supply the necessary energy to make the chemical reactions occur. But how could Hovering begin these reactions? Obviously, using energy coming from bolts. Being without an oven, Miller thought about using two electrodes connected to the second ampoule, which simulated bolts. The complete time to see the formation of the first organic molecules, in other words, the amino acids. In the experiment was about a week, but on Earth it spent millions of years to see these formations. Later, these organic molecules led down in the oceans that, in that age, supplied a shield for the solar radiations, which were harmful for these last ones. So now, Let's see closer the experiment to understand how it works. As I told you before, the water vapor generated from the first sample passes through the tubes and arrives in the second sample. Just then, thanks to the energy supplied by the electrodes, which activated the chemical reactions, and thanks to the gases present in the second sample, there could have been formed in the second sample the first organic molecules, the amino acids.